Hello YouTube! Welcome to the second video of my three-part series Carve Your Own Cutlery. The last video I showed you how to carve such a knife. In this video I show you how to carve such a fork. You all probably know this simple fork. But this fork works only for spaghetti and Swiss cheese fondue. This kind of fork is much more versatile. You can eat all different kinds of pasta, you can eat, ra eat rice and thousand things more. For carving such a fork, you need a 20 cm block of hazelwood with a diameter about 3 or 4 centimeters. First step is to split the lock. Second step is to flatten the splitting surface and cut out the pit. Like this. Next step is to carve something like a step. For that, go about five or six centimeters back and carve a flat. I try to turn my wrist that this flat rise a little bit. Suck, suck. Okay. Next step is to carve the shape of the handle. I start on this point and I try again to turn the wrist that the handles that the handle get thicker at the end. So actually, you should carve in this direction, from the outside to the smaller part. But uh, as you could see, it works if you turn out your wrist, that the end of the handle is thicker than after the mouthpiece. Next step is to flatten the handle. This handle is too thick, so the half thickness will be enough. I start again at this point. I 
after this, I try to adjust the shape of the handle. Now you have a nice curve in this area. Next step is to flatten the mouse piece a little bit more. Now it's seen enough. The reason for this step from here to here is that a fork is this step is much more comfortable to eat than a straight fork. Now the mouthpiece is too thick so I have to carve it a little bit thinner. Something like this. Now you have to cut with the wood saw three cuts, one in the middle, and here, and here, that you get one, two, three, four. Times. The last cut. Now the three cuts are done. Next step is to widen the space between these four tines. For that take the small blade and hold the fork like this. Like this, I'm happy with the shape of the spikes. Now you can 
sand down the space between the cuts with a piece of rope, like this. At this point, 95% of the work is done. The last 5% is to make a hole for a, for a string or for a rope and make some adjustments for a perfect shape. This is the end result. I like the design very much and it matched very well to the knife we made last week. Next Friday I'll show you how to craft such a, such a, such a spoon. In this video I'll show you six other cool ways how to craft a fork and uh, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao!